Are we just going to wear this the whole time? Are we really taking these off? I, I, yeah, I'm taking them off. <laughs> <laughs> you can leave yours on. I, I, just, Maybe I, won't like I don't think I can taste sake with these on, though. Well, this is the sake notes. Yes. Hello. Welcome to the sake notes. Spooky sake notes. Yeah. So. It's October. Uh, it is. And um, on the show, we talk about one cups a lot. We have a collection of one cups. We, we tell stories about one cup bars we've been to. But we never really sat down and had one cups before. So we're going to do that. And, and I promise that these masks are relevant <laughs> to the one cups. <laughs> It's true. However, if we're gonna be tasting any sake, we need to take them off. So. Oh yeah, way ahead. It was very yeah. hot in there. Whoa. Okay. Woo. So. What do these masks, one cups, and October have in common? Well, the masks I think are kind of spooky and fun, and the these particular masks though are are about the characters that are on these sake one cups. They're from uh, Chiyo Musubi. Um, brewery and they are probably one of the most popular sets of one cups available in the united states really oh, yeah well i definitely know um at least one place in new york that you can get these you know quite a few they're, they're pretty big but That's yeah awesome. azasu definitely yeah, does azasu, a, does a good job which is them. a really popular sumo hot pot slash sake one cup just Japanese is a Kaya store here in New York. Yep. Comfort, comfort food at oh, Azasu. Yeah. So that's a good place. Yeah. And um, so a lot of the time, uh, one cups tend to be kind of, I think they tend to be Junmai's. And if you're in Japan, sometimes they might even be just like regular sake, the um, futushu. Mm -hmm. But uh, these are all Junmai Ginjo. And we actually also thought it would be interesting to kind of talk about them because they're all Junmai Ginjo. They're all from the same brewery. And they have very similar milling, mm -hmm. very similar yeasts. But three different types of rice. I love it. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I'm all. I'm totally on board. I love. I feel like the events that we go to that are always centered around one theme is where I learn the most. If we go to an event that's, for example, the Gifu sake event that we went to, mm -hmm. all sake from Gifu. I just kind of started to feel like I I get what it is about Gifu. You know, you can maybe you get what they're that, doing. That water bit, or maybe their local rice bit. Um, I feel like sake from Akita. I can pick up immediately it just got that riciness and so having three sakes from the same brewery same region similar rice milling but different rice i feel like we're gonna really able to learn a, a lot, lot. Yeah, yeah i'm very excited right so uh this one over here this is the so this is um that's this guy right here and this is uh kitaro junyin now um apparently these characters are all uh, manga characters uh, and there's a apparently a relatively famous series of manga that's from the same area um, where these sakis are from. You know, same the same neighbor, the same city as the brewery, which is um, I believe it's a Totori Prefecture. And so they kind of got together and uh, these, don't, a, these I, don't pour I, very well, they, do they? Well, maybe they do, and I just <laughs> they said pour into your mouth. Do you want to? Yeah, I don't think they're meant for pouring. Mm. Uh, let me see what I can do here. <laughs> uh, you just gotta get really gotta be not not so shy. Okay. Um, so the Kitaro is using uh, Yamada Nishiki, milled to 50%. Very popular rice, very popular milling percentage. Uh, this one over here, the uh, Nezumi Otoko. This is um, ugh, this guy right here. Is this here. a rabbit? I don't so know it's, what he is. He's like a mouse. He's got whiskers and a hood. It's very cool. Yeah, and teeth. He's got some buck teeth. Very cute. Yeah. Um, this guy right here is, and I'm going to butcher the pronunciation, so I apologize in advance. Um, mm -hmm. Roku. Ooh. Not bad, right? Well, that was yeah. wonderful. <laughs> you know, and we're actually starting to see that sake rice more frequently, I think. Or that or we're noticing it more. Probably. Yeah. Um. When we went to the, uh, trade event a few weeks ago... Oh, there was one in particular that I remember. And I remember we were just practicing our pronunciation. Yeah. I think that's why it's taking out my head it's so much. It's such a really hard, it's a really hard one for the for the New York tongue. <laughs> uh, and this third one here is the Oyaji um, Gokuraku and eyeball. the eyeball. Uh, I don't know why the eyeball is the old man, but... Um, it's very spooky. Also, this mask was very hard to put on. 
This is um goriki rice. Goriki um, rice. Yeah. I'm not familiar with that one. Goriki is another another rice type that like you don't see a lot of, but it I think it's 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 good. It's it's just like you don't. It's not as popular in the states, mm. but I see it a lot in Japan. It's good stuff. It makes some hearty kind of reminds me a little bit of omachi, almost. Not quite, mm, but interesting. Yeah, same. Which is one of your faves? It is a fave, it, but it's a little more rough and tumble. I think you might you might be into it. So uh, usually when we talk about one cups on the show, we always have the painted on versions. We talk about the lid. This is the example of the other side, which we don't get to show very much because the labels don't stick on. These are paper labels, mm -hmm. so you got to hand wash them carefully and then maybe just display them. And these are the pull off tops that we were talking about as well, which we don't usually get to show. Dispose of. Great for the trains. Um, mm -hmm. At home, you know, if you, or oh, I bet if you're going on a picnic, put them in your cooler, take them. It's perfect. Nice, yeah. yeah, and they also have the nice English labels on the back for us, which has all the information, which is very nice. Yeah. So uh, why don't we get to our tasting? Okay, we're gonna go this way. Uh, yeah, let's start with the Kitaro. Okay. So this is the Yamanishi. Mm. Ooh, very strong smell. Mm. Now. Yamanishi, Ooh, very caramely taste. Yeah, Yamanishi sakes are usually very light and fruity, uh, and this is a little more bold and. Um, it almost has age to me. Mm. It's got that caramel, um, creamy. There's a little creaminess in the mid. For sure. Mm. But this yeah, it's is a, definitely a food sake. I can see this one with some nuts, like almonds. Um, Probably some dried meats, maybe like little jerky bits, like that sort of smoky almond flavor. I think a lot, like I think one cups in general kind of tend to, um, tend to lean that way. Mm. Because you want to kind of, you know, you're kind of having your, your, your one cup of sake with your, with your Oh, dinner. absolutely. Definitely a food sake for sure. So I have water so we can kind of. Mm -hmm. That's a, a very strong flavor, particularly for a Yamaha Nishi. Strong one to start with, for sure. Yeah. Oh, these uh, are all 16% as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and so now the second, we're going to taste the uh, the uh, Nizumi. Mm. Do you want a second go at the rice? You did so well last time. Uh, I, I, I got to psych okay, myself okay. up again. All right, all right. Not as much on the nose for this one. Mm -mm. Definitely a stronger flavor up front as well. This one, I think the flavor is more towards the end. This one is up front, for sure. See, this to me tastes like... Hokemon Roku sake. Um, it, it has that kind of, it's, it's a little bit ricey. It, it's, it is, it's begging for food. Mm. It is, it is screaming for food. It really Absolutely. wants to be. But I think this one's lighter. Or something neat. It's still a strong, like, punch of flavor in the beginning, but it dissipates quickly. So I guess probably more like greasy food, I would guess. Maybe some fried rice. I don't know if I don't know if it's just I'm hungry or if this brought it out of me, but I did like some, I am like kind of like man, I can go for some greasy food. Right yeah. now. No, I really think it's because the the flavor is so light at the end. This one was very very strong throughout and ended on a very heavy caramel vanilla note, but this one is just much lighter. So I definitely think yeah. it's gonna be greasy. We Probably some do... like chicken wings, French fries. Mm. It'd be fun to revisit these one day with like some food and see what happens. I think that like that they really. I think it's gonna bring a lot out of them. Oh, absolutely. Alright. Mm -hmm. What's the flavor? And as we were mentioning, uh, the last place that we went to that had these, uh, Azasu, does have that kind of comfort food, a little mm -hmm. bit of greasy, so I think that's perfect. They have a lot of like uh, kushikatsu, so a lot of like breaded and deep fried foods. Makes a lot of sense. Oh, yeah. Great pairing. Mm -hmm. Alright. So and this the last is the, one. Uh, the Oyaji Gokuraku, and this is uh, Goriki rice. I think this is uh, a little bit closer to this first one. A little bit of that caramel taste, a little creamy. Mm -hmm. um, traditionally, uh, this is my favorite of the bunch. Traditionally. Oh and man, that sounds... Traditionally. Well, no, mm. But the thing is that traditionally you have a favorite of the bunch too. This really? Goes, this goes back probably four years ago when you first tried these. Well. So, spoiler, four years ago is the first time that we tried these. And, Interesting. But, I don't remember the, which one my favorite one was. Um, I'll give you a hint that the that the audience is not going to be able to help with. Okay. We still have the the, the glass. 
Um, well, we have all of them, but I think this one specifically we have. Yes. So I was, That's the one what? up on the shelf. You know what I was going to say? I was going to guess this one because it's so loud. It's so big and, and you cool. were And you were like, this is, I'm just drinking this from now on. And you had like a couple of like... Like a couple me. of visits to a to a uh, to an izakaya that carried it, and you were just drinking that every time you went, and you were having a good time with it. Well, back to back, just one run through, going from harsh, caramel like uh, bold throughout to kind of a harsh taste in the beginning, and then it drops off very mm -hmm. dissipates quickly. So this one, which I feel like is kind of a blend of the two, it's got that caramely flavor, but it, it's more muted. I like this one up front the most. Mm -hmm. Just from this first run through. And so you said traditionally you like this one the most. Are you yeah. feeling different? I actually still do like that one the most. The Oyashi still my, is my jam. Um, I, I have always really liked that one. It was uh, um, like a go-to one cup for me for a long time. It was very caramel. I would be very interested to learn more about how this one was made. Mm -hmm. Because so often when I have an aged sake or maybe it's barrel aged for a while, it's got this caramel note to it. And maybe it's the rice type. Well, as you said, it's Yamanishiki, which is very popular, so. Mm, it could be the yeast, yeast type. Yeast type. They all we use a very similar yeast. yeast. We have been learning a lot of, of similar yeast. Uh, yes. So it's, they're almost exactly the same, so but you, you, one of them has like a slight, I think this guy has a slightly different yeast where these two are identical. That makes sense because they both have that caramel taste. We've mm. been learning more and more about yeast lately. It's a whole crazy science, but um, when you think about yeast change periodically, even if you have one yeast as you're like regrowing it, it's changing and developing new tastes and flavors. And that can lend so much to the flavor of the sake. Like If you're looking for more of a fruity or a, maybe more caramel, maybe that's what it is. Yeah. Um, I think what they, you know, maybe, you know, it's entirely possible that the yeast is also, maybe that is the ingredient that is making it so um, comfort food oriented. Because I, cause I, I can go for any of these with, with a meal. Like, I think that they, that's really, I think I kind of, we're doing a little bit of a disservice to ourselves by, by not having food with them. All right, yeah. Um, where I think that, like, I think that if we had this with a meal, this would be, like, um, even better. This last one, I'm really getting maybe some, like, soba, but, like, hot soba. Mm. What do you think about that? Let me try that again. Let's see. So, I for the longest time, pairing sake and food has just baffled me because I, I, I don't know. There's just so much to it, you know, and it's so easy to get a wrong pairing. But lately, I just kind of think about what does this remind me of? What would taste good? And for this one, I'm really thinking soba with a with a tempura on the top with a mm -hmm. vegetable tempura. I can I can I can see it. What are you thinking? Well, now I can't not think. I can't stop thinking soba. <laughs> okay, next time I'll let you go. Yeah, first. But but uh, in all honesty, though, um, I kind of want to try the kitaro with uh, with a tonkatsu. Mmm. Yeah. I want to try this one room temperature. The kitaro. Yes. Well, well both of them. Act well, both of these these caramel ones. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see where we're at right now. It's my new favorite toy, guys. Uh, Fifty six. Yeah, they're all about 56 right now. We're Interesting. We should zap the entire refrigerator. Is the refrigerator like <laughs> 50 degrees? I don't know. But I mean, we, we like, usually we've had, we have these things out for a bit. We are under lights mm. and that, that kind of gets in the way of things. So you're probably, that's not a good idea. <laughs> okay, no. so um, we wanted to keep our sake notes short and sweet, so we're not going to have time to do a fully blind taste testing. But I did bring two glasses so that you can pour one for me, I can pour one for you, and then you can guess which one it was. Okay, sounds good to me. Okay. Um, I will put on your traditional favorite mask while you do that, so I can't see what you're doing. You really can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can see all these if you're trying to, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at the lights. Oh well, maybe close your. You could just close your eyes. That also works. All right. Um, you're not looking, right? <laughs> Okay, um, and then do you want to taste now, or do you want to pour for me first, and then go from there? Hi. Hi. Um, I can, um, I'll pour for you. Okay. Um, this eyeball is really hard to put on, but I think it makes me look really spooky in a skeleton outfit, so I'm going to go for it. Hold <laughs> on. Maybe I just have a giant head. 
<laughs> okay. I think it's you have the hair. It's the hair. Oh, maybe. That was very polite of you. Thank you. I can't see anything. This is kind of where my eyes are. I think this is the mouth. Guys, the things that we do for the sake notes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. You can take it off. I did bring I did bring straws so that we could dry it like this. I think this straw got soaked in sake. Yeah, I wasn't very good at pouring in the sake. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. We'll just we'll just use our mouths. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. So this one had a lot. Hmm. So based on the scent or lack thereof, I was going to say it was this one. Mm -hmm. um, but then I got a bit of a caramel note to it. Mm. And I don't remember caramel note the first time through. So then I had a second. Let me do some water. But And the, the flavor oh, didn't I ran out. dissipate um, <laughs> as quickly as I remember it doing the first time. But on my second sip, it did. So I'm going to have some water. If this one does turn out to be the second one, that's going to be really interesting because of all the... The caramel notes, we, but I don't remember that from the first one, so. Well, you do think they have similar yeasts, so I guess it's not impossible. Yeah, I'm definitely getting caramel. Um, I'm going to go with this one, though. It is that one. So that's really interesting. Uh, the yeasts must be even more similar than we thought, and that must be what's giving it the caramel taste. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of sad because sometimes one of my tricks when I am trying new sake and I get that heavy caramel, I'm like, oh, is this aged? And they're like, oh, it is aged. And I'm like, huh, oh, you know. But, I mean, I guess I can't use that trick anymore. Now it's all in the yeast. All right, <laughs> well, what it's do you still sometimes that. Maybe this is just the yeast. Maybe. Um, I think this is the Oyashi. I knew you were going to think it was the Oyashi. It's not. It's the Katara. Oh. Because you loved it, didn't you? Uh, I, I liked it. Uh, oh, I mean, I should have asked you why you thought that first. Oh. Sorry, guys. I blew it. Uh, yeah. Well, what made you think that it was the Oyashi? Um, it just had, like, like, so I always think that the Oyashi is kind of the lightest of the three. And I gravitate towards lighter flavors. I really wish I would have had you explain that first. Mm. Man, I totally blew it, guys. Next uh. time. Next time. But on the other we'll hand, I always do. I also gravitate towards the Yamada Nishiki. We'll try the noticing. try the Oyaji now. Here, mm. thank you. This is so much heavier. Hmm. Uh, what? I then when I just yeah, I feel like. Not try it. It's, do them back to back. Also, what's very interesting to me is Trust that me this. you really completely fun. ran out of the Nazumi first. I did. And you have plenty of the other two. Wait, this one is this, and this one is this. Correct. Okay. So have them back to back. It's they 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 taste like just like they're they're cousins. Like you can taste the similarities, and they're so deep. Yeah, they're so similar, and they're so they ca they they have so many um, so many like taste to them. It's so, so I interesting. I think what John's trying to say is you can't go wrong. Whichever one you end up picking. <laughs> no, there's Based no there's no wrong answer, obviously. <laughs> these are all delicious. Back to back, I mean maybe your food choice if you get mm. more familiar with these. Of course if you have a favorite character if you read it's a manga, right? Did we talk about it's that? A, it's a manga, but I don't know much about it. Well, I guess maybe you can pick your favorite character from that. Well but um I, I said that we should end the show by oh. putting on the mask of our favorite one. And I guess that technically this is my favorite one I know. <laughs> And mine's this one. Oh, so oh, hey, we started with the. Well, we started. You started with that. You ended with that. Uh, all right, so here we go. Oop, I should take my glasses off first. That's always the idea. All right. This has been Sake Spooky Notes. <laughs> this has been our Sake One Cup Spooky Notes show. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, bear in mind that the um, fourth Tuesday of every month, we are at Rabbit House doing a tasting set. Um, of course, we don't necessarily know yet what the next set's going to be, um, but in the past we've done things with um, sake from one prefecture, with like all namas, where we, you know, another one we did all the same rice type, and so you know we're, we're experimenting and doing fun little kind of uh, interactive tasting events where we can kind of get people to come in and kind of explore take a journey with us yeah. yeah most of the time 
we have had people who are not familiar with sake, and that's been really fun to learn and explore with them. Um, if that's something that you're interested in and maybe you think you might want to come and join us, uh, Facebook or Instagram is the best way to find out what we're doing next. We post there first when we know. And if you have ideas for something that you think would be make a cool tasting set, we would love it. We have just a couple of more ideas off the top of our head, but we plan to do this every month. So if you have like a cool idea or something that you want to taste or a tasting set you've done in the past, just let us know. Um, you know, comments, whatever, you know how to reach us, all that stuff. Yep. We'd really appreciate your advice. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Sorry, this was super scary. We should we should put a warning at the bottom. Not for small children. <laughs> Alright. Bye. Thank guys. you for watching. <laughs> Have a great night. Come by and enjoy your sake. Bye. Bye.